So what up YouTube, it's Obey Dangini once again. I'm back with another video. So guys, this is an update on the challenge, on the 20k challenge, the 5% uh, uh, 20k challenge that I was doing. Guys, I'm not fine, guys. I'm not fine, as you can see on my face. Mm. I breached the uh, daily loss limit yesterday. I took some stupid trades that I took on GBP card mm, that led to this uh, breach. So actually, we are not supposed to reach a 1,000 loss per day. If you go over that, and then it means that you fail the challenge, which is what will happen. So guys, I will just go to my dashboard to show you the account. And I'll also go through the trades that I've taken to when I fail this challenge. I'll go through all the trades that I've taken. So I actually took one, uh, five positions on GBP card. So without further wasting any of your time, let me just get back to the chart or to the website of the five percenters so that I can show you my dashboard. And then later on, I will go through the trade that I've taken. So guys, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, comment below, guys. Comment below. Video. Okay, guys, here are they. This one is my dashboard, and these are the accounts that I had on the five percenters. First, I had a 25k bootcamp challenge. I fell this one as you can see the status here. And the second one was a high stake challenge, a 20k challenge. Currently, this one is terminated as you can see it's disabled. So let's go to the reason why this account is disabled. Okay, now looking at this account, guys, as you can see, it's a 20, 20k higher stake challenge. The account is disabled, guys, as you can see. So, we hit our profitable three days, as you can see here on the screen. Now, the account balance, guys. So, we started trading this account on the 18th of November, as you can see here. And then, we were up to 100, and then from there, we were in a losing streak until at 18k.5 I was close to failing this challenge guys I was close to failing this challenge but then we took it up and then we were in a winning streak until we were up 800 until we were up 800 as you can see here and then from there we were in a losing streak until we were down at 18 hundred guys 1800 and 952 us dollars you can see then from there we were up we took it up to two 200 us dollars we were up 200 us dollars and then we were in a losing streak again and then we went up again and stuff like that now that is where at 19 of one four is where on December the 3rd, it was yesterday, that is where we ended up reaching our daily loss limit, which is 1k, guys, which is 1k. To tell you the truth, uh, the 5 percenters are one of the best, and I have the tra their trading conditions are good, guys. Although sometimes the MetaTrader 5, sometimes it freezes, it freezes, guys. It freezes, it, it, it's very stressful when you want to close trades, guys. So now let's go to the advanced statistics. Total trades, we took trades of 370 guys, which is not normal, guys. Which is not normal. Imagine I started trading this account on the 18th of November and then we already took 370 trades, guys. Imagine in two weeks, in just two weeks, bro. In just two weeks, we already took 370 trades, which is not normal, guys. Profit trades, 206. Low trades 164, long trades 200, short trades 169. Mostly, I was taking the buys, guys. Now, the gross profit was 8.9, 
the gross loss was 9.9 .9 and net profit was 900 and negative 985 profit factor is 0 0.90 which is not good which is not good i like it when it's above one when it's above one that is when it's good uh win rate it's 55.6 Best rate, best profit was 193. Biggest loss was 391, which is not good, guys. This is not good. This is not good, guys. So here are the trades that I've taken on GBP card. We took sales on GBP card, guys. I overtraded on the on that day. I took a lot of trades, man. The the market was going against me, and I was just scaling in, adding losses to losses, guys, which is wrong, guys. You can only add when you are in profit that is when you can scale in guys now i've made a mistake of adding to my losses which ended up now blowing this account guys as you can see guys the account is now disabled because we reach our 1000 1k of minimum now our daily loss limit we reach our daily loss limit guys of 1k that's why i ended up failing this challenge guys so yeah Overall, the five percent that they are one of the best prop firms out there, guys. I, I would also buy a challenge, but this time I will go with a lower challenge. I won't go with a bigger account. I must go start small, guys. I already have challenges on funded next and other prop firms, but this is not the only three account that I have. I have a lot of accounts that I'm trading on personal accounts and prop firms, guys. So, guys, let's go to the chat and show you what trades I the trades that I've taken to fail this challenge that led to failing this challenge, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Here is the trade that I've taken on GBP card. As you can see, guys, we are in a downtrend, guys. As you can see, let me just quickly show you on my hard time frame like daily. I mostly check on daily, as you can see, guys. This is where our break of structure happened to the downside. And I drew our support here that is where i was expecting the market to reverse but the market just keep going up and down up and down guys this was annoying guys imagine here we broke out nicely okay we broke out nicely and i was like okay maybe we could proceed we can continue to the downside but then the market ended up going breaking to the upside guys as you can see guys the market ended up going to the upside while the price was here around here that is where I was like, okay, I was adding a lot of positions here when it, when the price was here. I was adding a lot of sell positions here. Then forgetting that the daily limit was a just a thousand, guys. The daily limit was a just a thousand. So that is where now I ended up getting a notification on my email saying I reached my daily loss limit, guys. So yeah. And the second trade was the other trades were on uh, on gold, guys. The other trades were on gold. So gold is just consolidated. I mostly trade gold, guys. And as you can see, guys, for the past few days, guys, or few weeks, gold is just consolidating. As you can see, guys, there's no clear direction here that says gold is moving up or down it was just like up down up down up down guys so guys these are the trades that i've taken guys yeah yeah guys that is what happened that is what happened so that is not the only account that i have i have a lot of accounts i love a lot of i have challenge i have challenges we funded next and i also have a uh, funded a funded account a 5k funded account with their funded next I'm also doing some challenges that I'm doing with the other prop firms. But from now on, I'm not sure if I'll be taking any trade. I have to make sure that the trade that I'm taking in this December, it must meet all my entry criteria for me to take the trade. I don't take any trade from now on. I won't take any trade, funny trades from now on. So guys, that is all. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like the video. Share the video, comment below, join our free telegram group. It's in the video and the video description. I can also drop it in the comment section, guys, for you to be part of our telegram channel. You don't have to pay anything, guys. It's for free. You don't have to pay anything. So, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.